Hey YouTube, it's Michelle with Comfy Cozy Living. So today I'm going to bring you my um, Easter decor and uh, most of my spring decor I did. So basically when I take out my, my Easter, I just fill that in with a little more spring and summer. So right here we've got some vintage rabbits. Uh, these don't have, this one's a girly candle. And, uh, and that's just a little homemade something or other, little glittery thing. And then these are just vintage, like, cake picks. And then that is part of a, oh, I just love that with the mushroom. That's, I think, from, uh, I want to say Germany or West Germany. I I'll try to, it's an oldie. German De Democratic Republic. So you can see that's an oldie. And just trying to, that's how I got it. I didn't ever get the whole thing, but I knew just that part alone would be. I mean, I think I paid up for it. I might have paid like four, five, six dollars, I think. I don't remember. Oh my gosh, I'm so shaky. Okay, so there's that little thing. And then this is my bay window, and this is the one thing that my kids really hate. And I know a lot of people will. My mom made this. When I was a kid in the 70s, she did the ceramic on it, and it had really huge eyelashes. And then uh, I just put these little eyelashes on it when I found them at like a, an estate sale. I suppose I could get some really good lashes for it, but I don't care. My kids usually hide it on me because they hate it. So this is a large shot of my bay window. So I'm going to go in. And I do not have the lambs that I would like, like some people do, but I have this pink one that's ceramic, and I just fill that with a little bit of the millinery. And then this one, too. This one I got last year. She's a cutie. And I forget. She's, I don't know if she's, yeah. No, not, not this one's not marked. I think this one is marked. Uh, no, it's, it's marked, but it's not on there anymore. So, I don't, I don't know. I don't care. So, these are just some Ray Dunn glasses that I got from a few years ago. Like, you know, from TJ or Home Goods, just like this is. And some gardening books and uh, one of my, my favorite planter. But I just, for now, set this in there. It'll end up getting a plant in it. But that's got some vintage little chicks in it. And they're so cute. I got some architectural spindles that are pink. If any of you have kids that are older, they probably liked Webkins back in the day. And this little bunny I just always kept. A stack of pots. And just some. These, I think, are all from Tuesday morning over a couple different years. They just did these, you know, that look like uh, chocolate candies. So... One chick, and then the rest are all bunnies. And then just these. These, I think, were from the Dollar Tree several years ago. And then I don't remember where I got that. I think at a yard sale, to tell you the truth. And this, I think I got at a yard sale, too. This, I got an antique mall. This is a paper mache. This is vintage. It's, I think I paid like seven bucks for that. It's another TJ thing. That rabbit, I don't know. I think my mom gave it to me. Like, uh, I mean, it's been purchased, but I think when I lived in California, so that was like the early 90s, I think she sent it in a care basket. So, then these are, these might be her hallmark. I'm not sure. Um, I got them last year at a thrift store. A little salt and pepper. Then these, I think, are, I think think are Japan. They, oh, yeah, they are. Only one of them's marked. They're so light that they just kind of fall over. See, that one says mark, made in Japan. Here we go. So, I might just have them set in a little pot because I had them somewhere else and then I had to move something. So, you know, you work with what you got. This I have had forever. This is from TJ Maxx. Spring is in the air. They're wire. They're really heavy, so it's nice to have something to lean against. 
this little lamb I got from at home, oh, I think last year or the year before. And then here's a vintage um, bunny bank um, that's one of those fuzzy ones. My daughter hates it too. <laughs> then some, you know, like I don't know, crafts, like a craft show thing. Those two. And then this is obviously as vintage as vintage can be. I don't know who made that, but somebody made that. This I got at an estate sale. It's just a, it's a rattle. It's broken. I got it for like nothing really. I mean, but I just think it goes with the scene. And then this is one of my girls that I recently got. She's from Japan. And uh, I th think it's basically Mary had a little lamb, in my opinion. She got her a little lamb. Well, I mean, unless that's a poodle, but for me, with them ears down, I don't care. It's a lamb this right now. <laughs> so, anyway. And then I have her sitting on some of my garden books. And then I have some, you know, just some other books in here for the color. I got this little thing. It says uh, Brer Rabbit. Um, I, yeah, there, Goodwill. Can't believe that's actually a good buy for me for 99 cents. And this was um, from Sentry a long, long time ago. It's a local store here in Milwaukee, or the Milwaukee area, anyway. And uh, so I don't know how old this is, but it does have a recipe for something on the back here. A loaf of something. It says what makes one loaf. Maybe gingerbread? This flower thing I got at a rummage sale last year. It was like one of the last rummage sales of the season. I think I got it for two bucks. And then this I just got recently. I think it was in a haul even. So this is from Home Goods last year. This I don't I don't even remember. I've had just in my stash for a long time. That's very vintage. Um this I made. Um, a lady I know who's an artist, she, I don't know how to show this, um, she makes the molds and then you paint them and she has some examples to kind of give you some guidance. Let's see how I can do this Ooh, here so you can see on both sides. So like I painted it and then I stuck these little flowers to it and the, the, you know, egg and then these, you know, I stuck the little pansy looking things in there and these flowers. And um, then, then you just, you know, glue it up with a lot of stuff and then glitter it. So, yeah, looks very vintage. But I made it and I wonder if I have a date on it. Yep, I made it March 3rd, 2017. So, and then I have these tiny little pots. I have a bunch of those all over. And then that, I think this is probably like a Home Goods or TJ Maxx. Well, I don't know what that is. On the bottom. But yeah, that's, oh, that's part of the paper that's made out of. Pretty sure it's like a TJ Maxx rabbit from someday. So, okay, so this is just, I don't really decorate this area really. But I'm like, okay, well, the table's here and I had decided to have this lamp there. So anyway, I threw this over here it's tin that I used a lot of things and this is just part of a succulent one of my flower frogs and then some more of those little pots under this wire cloche and then up by my kids I have this mirror I just I think I probably hauled this not too long ago it's just a little mirror with a bird on it and then I hung this because I have something else where it was last year so this is just one of those those um, planters from Marshalls that has that side thing, so you can put it on the wall. And then just I think the faux greenery from Hobby Lobby probably. So this is kind of a kind of a um, living room hall um, decor I guess too. So up there I have a bird picture. Got a Goodwill. I really like it. It fits the space really well. I guess I could just show this little spot over here too now. Um, the, the thing that I had the girly candle and stuff on. Then that's... And that's the candle, or the bank that I had since I was a kid. And that was from, well, I would say probably the 70s. So, anyway, I 
I just have this little bell hanging here. I'm sorry if I'm getting you dizzy. I'm trying to go back around where it makes sense. Well, this has not changed. I just leave that there and then this is my stack of um, suitcases. And that's the door to my daughter's room. And then that's my room that's a mess. And all the other rooms and... Okay, so then this is my shelf. So this year I decided to just keep that up there. It just kind of breathes and I think it makes sense there. So I added a couple more to try to make it the right amount of number. I have, I have to have odd, but then I threw the bird up there. It kind of bothers me that I only have two of those beaded things. But the other one I have makes sense where it is. So that's just going to work. I think it's fine. So that's just what I, that's all, all I, I don't really have, like I don't collect milk glass, but those are just the pieces that I like. And a picture of me and my kids, and then I got some old um, bird seals on uh, one of my flower frogs candle. And this is just a little something that a friend of mine made me. When um, I had, when I first bought my house. And then she also gave me that little Dawn's pill thing that you'll see, uh, you've already seen before, I think. There's a little bird. Picture Bella. Okay, then down here I have another bird. And this is a book that, when I was a kid, I had this paperback. And I don't like bugs, but that just represented my childhood. So when I found this book, I was like, oh, that's in the same series. And I found it before I found this one. So I was just excited. And then like two years ago, I found this book at um, oh, at a flea market. And it's I got it for like five bucks. It's so awesome. I mean, I, I probably would never tear it apart. Um, but it's so cool. I mean, it's just, I'm trying to get to the, just turn to one page. Like, the colors are really popping. They're so pretty. And you know, let's look at that. That's just, I mean, this is spring. I could probably, like, set it open. Maybe I will when I change it up after Easter. But for now, that's where I'm putting it this year. I change everything a little bit every year. Okay, so um, this little tin I have with... Uh, moss and some eggs. I have these little vintage um, coasters. And then a, a um, oh, me and one of my best friends. <laughs> and um, this is uh, an old, um, well, from a few years ago, Ray Dunn, but there, it was on a cloche, but I got this for like two bucks because the bottom part, um, the pedestal was probably broken. And then another bird, and then more of these, and then more of them over there. And then another one of my big flower frogs. This is a big one. On a mirror, a really old mirror, that is. Then down here, I usually hang that bird cage, but the thing I hung it from, I sold. So, yeah. So I just have it on a piece of old, um, chippy turquoise wood with some old glasses, and then this plate with a little, um, bird's nest and there's the don't pills thing and then I have another few of my um flower frogs this is one of my favorite ones right there that one and I think that one's also one of my favorites because it's a different color and then my very favorite I'll show you in a little bit but this one I love a lot then I, I just found this one recently I think I yeah 50 cents I got a goodwill and then I just have it sitting on there for now you know, that's not one that I'm probably going to leave as is. I'll probably move that around. And then that's just a fake thing. Never enough time. Picture me and my kids. Uh, picture me and my kids. Picture my kids. A couple of pots. And then this feather plate that I got last year at a sale. I think that's super cool. Love that. Anyway, so that is my... That shelf that I got at Hobby Lobby years ago. And then there's this area that's just like kind of behind my TV, kind of to kind of block some of the 
wires and stuff. Picture my kids with their grandma, my mom. And I love that little piece down there. And then I'll give you an overview. So um, I'm gonna go and show you the I know I've showed this area before. I might have tweaked it since I've showed it. I love this little area. I'm only recently in like the last couple of years really getting into the color blue. I like it if it looks like denim. I guess is the thing. And I like cobalt. And I love turquoise too, but you know. So, and I, there. Uh, that. Um, that's that clock that I got from Target for $7. The, or from Goodwill, but it's a Target $40 one. And then this, nothing's changed since you guys might have seen it. You can't see what's down there, but it's like a top three piles of books with some pictures that nobody can see. So, and then, oh gosh. Okay, so my couch, and then. So this is the last thing I think I really, oh, well, I guess I could show that over there. Oh, my um, pillow. That's my summer pillow, suffering, whatever. Got it. Uh, I think I got that at a, a, a rummage sale for two bucks. This I haven't changed much. It's just I really like this area. For me, this is minimal and kind of calming. So yeah. And then oh, my my awesome ten dollar bird cage find at a rummage sale was the best buy I've probably ever gotten at a rummage sale. So there's that and my chair. And then this is what I also did today. And that is um I think that's a from IKEA. I got a goodwill though. And then this is some Hobby Lobby greenery with a little bird that I got a pick. I think I got it at a rummage sale. Um that was a was a candle. Uh, I took it all out when it burned down all the way and I put a fake one in there. And then there's a couple of my, probably my smallest um, flower frogs on top of a vintage Avon um, lemon thing. I just think it like is summery and I also, also put out a summer lemon, um, limoncello, my favorite from Bath and Body Works. And then some books and then three more of my um, flower frogs and some flower floral clay there is a little chunk still in there but um yeah so i just kind of so anyhow that's also one of my favorites it's massive and it's kind of i mean i don't know if i've ever seen one of these before with the odd shapes the shape it's so heavy and this is the only one i have like this and then there's another one back there I do not have any of the um, glass ones, actually. Um, and I don't, you know, feel like I'm missing anything. That's just a little added extra. There's my, some more pictures of my kids under there. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and then I probably hear my knees crunching there. Oh, well, there, that used to be a clock, I guess. Oh, that's for good luck. And then it comes all the way back to Easter. So, uh, thanks everybody for watching, and I would uh, love it for you to leave comments on it and um, uh, share this video with anybody that I guess is bored and would like to have something else to look at, and um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and also um, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and like this video. I... Um, I would really, really appreciate that, and I uh, hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I'm about to uh, make supper and then go to bed early because I'm going to be uh, taking my daughter, meeting my ex-husband halfway, so we're meeting in Indiana, and so my daughter's going to go stay in Nashville. Since all this is going on, at least then she can just stay at her dad's house for a while. Since she's going to be schooling on, you know, her laptop anyway. So, thanks everybody. And I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe as everybody else has said. And let's not forget, spring is in the air. Bye everybody.